just, just powering through, just powering through, just trying to see whether or not I'm losing my actual mind or, or not. Um, excuse me. Um, this doesn't feel good. <laughs> seventh day, God called me a pussy-ass bitch. <laughs> What's going on, my fellow gamers? And welcome back to episode number two of the Inazuma 11 Chrono Chronostones Egglock. Um, if you missed the last episode, make sure you go check it out so you can get a brief understanding of how the Egglock works. But if you are not, if you're like, TXM, I can't dare to watch another video of yours. I need to just watch this one and this one alone because I'm going to die in two minutes then basically the rate of the rules of the egglock are as follows and um, i got you guys to submit players on the discord and um and when we get a new player in this game that player will be randomly like a new player from that list of players you guys submit will be randomly added to our game um, and if, if we can see the goal a player dies um, and we can only use 10 special moves per match. So, without further ado, let's hop back into the Egglock. We are hopping on board of the Inazuma TM bus, but if you forgot who we have on the team, with Spikey, Patis Tia, Damon Valiant, Edgar Harness, Wenseless Wales, Sean Frost, Mecha Mark, Tiger West, Nathan Swift, and that's it, because um, we had Rexless and we have Paul Peabody, but they both died a horrific death in a fire or something in the last episode, and so they are nowhere to be found now. They're all lost to, this, to the um, to space and time, much like myself, but I mean, that's fine. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to get where you gotta go, to be honest. And if that involves rapid burning death, then it does, but that's fine. We're fine. You're fine. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going for there. I mean, I, I, I'm... I, I'm struggling to say things today, but I, you know, I'm just kind of in that one of those head spaces where it's like, I don't know what's going on, but I'm enjoying it anyway. And like, I felt that's the perfect headspace to be when recording a video of just having no idea what's really going on. Like, honestly, anything could happen right now. And like, I would just kind of go, yeah, that's fair. I, if someone called me up and told me, Tom, you've won the lottery. I would just be like, yeah, that's fair. But if someone told me like, Tom, you, I don't know what would be something bad. Uh, Tom, death is upon us. I'd be like, yeah, okay, cool. That's fine, that's fine. I, I, I don't know what, I don't know what's going on, to be honest, but all right. Oh, we're going to the old Raymond Club room. We're going to fight on Buzz, as in the Buzz Lightyear, because to infinity and beyond, that's the name also in his Rem character. Not to, I mean, he's missing the two in the and. Unless maybe that's his middle name. Maybe his middle name is, no, that wouldn't work. So if his name's Infinity Beyond, then it wouldn't really work, his name being in to infinity and beyond. Maybe his name's Infinity Two and Beyond. Yeah, why not? Let's make it that. But all right. I'm gonna try and get this cheeky goal right now to score a goal. I, I don't know how I feel about the fact that, um, so I'm pretty sure in Instagram, the original trilogy, they kind of had like a goal set up, like a kind of picture set up, but now I, this feels just really, really like bland and boring. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Like it, it, it just has bad vibes, you know what I mean? Come on, Parnas. Um, do you just want to run past? Thank you, Parnas. Okay, we'll pass to you and then we'll pass it over to whoever you are, Damon Valiant. What's up, mate? You don't have a shooting move. Okay, cool. Never mind. Maybe you do. I think you have triple threat, don't you? We just can't use it. Nice. Really cool. Okay, partners. Do you want to, like, get past this lad? Thank you. And then, partners, do you want to score a cheeky goal? Oh, wait. We can we can use a shooting move with you. Oh, we can't because you're 14 some foot now. Of course you do. But I bet you can fail. Never mind. That's a good start, because last, last episode we were failing moves lesson right. And you guys inform me that the reason we were failing moves lesson right is because of um, a thing to do with, apparently, um, we had high difficulty moves or something, because I think our technique stats are really low, so we struggled to pull off the moves. So, what if, so, you know, we need to make sure we're using kind of weaker moves generally, but because you all have stacked up these players like crazy, and we're using like really, really strong players, which isn't great, because it means that like our... Difficult moves are difficult and like we don't have a lot of TP and so it's like kind of difficult and whatnot You know what I mean? Like it's just not great to be honest, but all right And we're going to get this artifact in the club room. Oh cheeky But all right, and the next play we're gonna get is going to be I think Mark Evans 
we're gonna get Vladimir really, really soon. So we'll get a few cool players. Um, one, actually, what I'll probably do is get Vladimir's player before the next match. That's probably what I'll do. Just, to, just because we get him halfway through and it'd be kind of awkward. So I'll just kind of get him before the next match just to be like u u uber ultra sure. So that we have him just because. And also it saves me a bit of time because I can just do them both at the same time. Instead of doing one after the other. You know what I mean? Like it just kind of makes life a bit easier. Look at Spikey. Look at that hair. Like genuinely his hair. I mean we know what it looks like. But uh, <laughs> at the same time like it just it just exudes a certain kind of aura. Like I feel like I look at his hair and I go that's some hair. I, I, that's some cool hair. Like it's just baller hair like i mean no because he's it's the balls he's missing on his hair but you know what i mean all right i'm just gonna have a drink because i'm i'm already like really thirsty get it haha <laughs> comedy all right mm, 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 mm. that's a really really nice bottle of water it's like kind of cold and it's like kind of it's like it's rubbing against my face and it's actually really cold wow this is not as fun as i thought it would be Oh, that, that did not leave a good impression. I'd rub it against the microphone, but you guys wouldn't really feel the water, would you? It's not really how microphones work as of yet. As of yet, you never know what could happen in the future, to be honest. Maybe in the future, there'll be, like, high-tech microphones where you can, like, kind of touch it. And, like, you suddenly feel, like, a sensation. Like, if you're listening to it. Like, if I was to go, like... You would feel, like, a sudden sensation. Like, across your body. And you would, like, start to, like, implode. Maybe that's what the future holds for, for life. Maybe that's what the future should hold for life. Yeah, I definitely think so. It is a really cool cutscene. Football! Of all the things just to randomly scream, I love it. I just don't get why that's your first reaction to when coming to a new school, is it? Is your first reaction generally, let's sign up for those extracurricular activities. I guess if you're as a set with Mark. Except with football as markers, I guess it makes some kind of sense. So I'm not terribly surprised. But okay, inner link. Woo, we got to look at blogs. What if I read out some inner links real quick? What if I read out a quick, quick inner link? How do you guys feel about that? Allow me to introduce a new state of the art. Messaging service. Okay, let me take a look at inner link then. I, sh I, shall, I shall do this. Follow Mark to the staff room. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Um, level, there's a level of importance to life. There's a level of importance to life. And that involves going to the inner link. All right. Okay, never mind. This is a pretty boring inner link so far, but... Ooh, someone's right. Oh. Uh. Uh. Guys, our inner link's popping off. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Please make all of your acquaintances. I am Clark Von Wunderbar. I'm a thinker though and though and... No, I'm a thinker through and through, and I'm quite partial to a good car wash. Anyone care to continue? I'll go next. Then I'm Faerun, and my favorite football hobby is football. This was like fun. I'm Irene Sherwind, and football is my absolute favorite thing in the whole world. Um, this is how we're meant to be using this, right? Correct, Master Sherwin. You certainly are a fast learner. God. One can really tell I'm a voice actor. <laughs> but alright, very, very nice there. I, I, I like it a link. I never really look at it a link, but I think I think it's kind of cute, you know what I mean? Alright, let's um pop over to the staff room then. What's up? What's up? Let's go make ourselves at home here. Ooh, I wonder what's in the shop. I wonder if, I wonder if it's popping off over here. Hello? So boring. Ah, uh, that is a bit boring to be honest. Nothing too poppy offy of over here. And it's nope, the library's a bit bare as well. Though I guess I kinda like maybe one day we'll have the key to that chest. And maybe one day someone will have the key to my heart. Aw. <laughs> uh, yo, Mr. Wintersea. Get this man out. Get this man out. Look at this man. Ooh, ooh, Mr. Wintersea. Ooh. I like the I like the model of Mark though. Like it just kinda cute. And then, Mark is so down, so sad, he doesn't notice the big, the big talking bear near him. He just doesn't turn and go, blue bear? Like, he, he just walks right past, and these two, they, they didn't see the bear either. They, they don't know what's going on. How does no one see Wonderbar? How does no one see Wonderbar and go, huh, so you've got to solve a bear here? I, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I don't, it doesn't make sense to me. I don't understand. <laughs> oh. That's so weird. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Oh, well, what are you going to do, I guess? What are you going to do? I'm all right. What's going on? What's going on? Um, What's going on? To keep the club up? Thank you. I'll definitely, I'll try. So, Arian, are those two lovebirds? Yeah, they're trying to shag. Sylvia and Mark? You know what I mean? Like... You know what I mean. You, you get it. You understand. You understand. Nice. And again, doesn't know it's the blue bear, because why would he? He's too obsessed with football. I guess it's a metaphor for 
obsession and parasocial relationships or something. And so he doesn't notice the big freaking blue bear just chilling next to him. Why would you? Why would you? The big blue bear. But all right. Um, nice, nice. Kick his ass. Kick his ass. No, oh, this is pointing. I wish. Okay. Um, I wanted Mark just to kind of like go and pew, poop, poop. How old is Alpha? How old is Alpha? Is Alpha like 15? It's wild that he already has a job in it. Like he's, 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 Alpha is already doing better than I am in his life. And I'm not sure how to feel about that because I don't know how old Alpha is. If, if Alpha's 20, then obviously I won't feel as bad. But if Alpha's 15, then I'm just going to look, I look pretty bad in comparison. Because sure, he may be evil, but I'm, I guess, is he evil? I guess that's up to interpretation. But I am, I'm not doing anything. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not running. I'm not a spy or whatever he is. I'm not a into the time traveling warrior. You know, it's a bit, just a bit dull to be honest. But all right, I'm, what we're going to do now is I'm going to randomize two new players from your list of suggestions, submissions, suggestions, you know what I mean? And I'll be back with those in a second. And we're back. All right, let's take a look at our two new players. We have Bayonet Gun. Though his body is small, his kicking strength is borderline destructive with Ballista Barrage and Sword of the King. And then we have Fred Friedrich, Friedrich Schiller, um, an aggressive instinct to play. Does he remind you of anyone? And he doesn't have any new special moves because the person who suggested him, Cosmos, just gave me just Friedrich Schiller. Thank you. I really appreciate, really appreciate that. But all right, let's bring them both onto the squad. Obviously, we have to use at least one of them. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how this will work in terms of... I think we need Arian in this. But I don't think we need Faye in this match. So, we'll swap Faye with... Um, where, 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 where? Okay, I guess Bayonet is already on the squad. So, we'll bring Bayonet up. Um, what formation do we want? I guess we want Edgar here, probably. Um, Sean here. Arian, I don't entirely know if we need on the pitch. I'm going to say no for now. And then if we turns out we do need him, well, I guess we do need him. I also probably want to... Okay, we can't do the formation. That's fine. Uh, Damon, sure. Why not? Faye, we'll swap. Okay, we'll bring you on. It's goalkeeper. You here. You here. Yeah. Why not? And um, Surely we should have enough. Oh, spiky. I forgot about spiky. Okay, cool. There we go. There we go. Okay, this is the score we're going to be rolling with. We need to put Arian on. Obviously, we need to put Arian on. And that's absolutely fine. There's nothing we can do about that. But let's give this a try. Let's give this a bit of a shake-up. I guess we're going to have to put Mark and goal, aren't we? awkward okay uh poor tiger west unfortunately we'll have to put mark and t team all right i guess we both have to um into the big z put big z into t excuse me oh that makes sense i was really confused that it was like do we story required need big z on the team that's um that's awkward oh arian has to be on the pitch oh okay um, sure. I don't know why I like, I, I just like having Mecha Mark here. Put Faye on the pitch. Ooh, okay. I will put Faye, I guess, on instead of Mecha Mark then. No, I guess I'll put Faye on instead of Friedrich. Yeah, that feels smarter. That feels smarter just because I feel like Faye is probably better than Friedrich Schill overall. Obviously, we are being, our, our hands are being tied here. We are being forced to use these players. Um, it's just kind of the way that the cookie crumbles sometimes when it comes to doing series like this. As much as, obviously, the, the general goal is to, as, as much as possible, use Eggot players whenever possible. Obviously, there's not necessarily a hold and hard force for that, but all right. Um, now, let us hope that we can actually win. Um, all right, so they are level... Two. Okay, they're, they're like low level. I think we do need to win this, but we should all be all right. Actually, should be all right. Yeah, I don't see really any issues here. I don't think I've ever looked at Protocol Omega's bench, and I guess I still haven't. I was, I, I kind of, I crossed my mind. I probably should have done that because I've never really looked at the bench. And I, would, I would be interested to see who is on their bench. But, oh well, what are you going to do? Because I saw like a, a pretty cool design. Oh, this is fine. Anyway, all right, let's, let's, let's go without further ado and try and uh, get some eggs, get some egg locks, get some egos. He's not on our pitch, so I don't know what you're doing. Also not on our pitch. don't know what you're doing there. I don't know why you're summoning these weird players from, but I guess you gotta do what you gotta do, don't you? Yeah, it's summoning some weird ass players there. Ooh. Alright, but okay. Um, they're now gonna, I think, do the God Hand thing, right? Like, Mark's gonna go, God Hand! Which is really cool of him, and I like it a lot. Alright, come on, bring yourself forward then. Bring yourself forward. Show off. Show off if you want. I don't mind. I'll happily sit back and watch you show off. Shoot command. 
one. Nice. I like I like shoot command one. I like, I like it. It just looks like it's like an improvement of a spinning shot in it. And so I kinda like it that way. Spinning shoot or whatever it's called. Um I just like I just like it for that reason. There we go. God hand. Nice, nice. But if you use God hand, very very proud. Very, very proud. It's a parallel world phenomenon thing. Sick. Space time resonance of all the Mark Evans in the world being brought together and creating ultimate super mega Mark Evans, which I can appreciate. All right, let's, um, I guess, move over to you. Probably, oh, that's Damon over there. So we want to... It's not great. Okay, um, we're not going to summon spirits because there's no... You know, I guess we could have got Pegasus. Okay, cool. Hypersonic Scramjet. No way in hell is anyone on our team not going to let you past. Sick. I don't know what they really expect, but... I guess they can just fly past. It's irritating. Um, right. I guess the only person who even stands a like a basic chance is Spikey with fire drill. But even here, I'm not. I'm, I'm not. My expectations aren't very high. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I guess we barely. We almost beat them. So we, we, we you know, we were close. And here they're just gonna score, aren't they? Are you kidding me? Are, are you kidding me? Never mind. I, mean, I was going to say, if they scored this early on, I was going to sit here and cry. Genuinely. I was going to sit here and cry. I will not let them do this. I will not let them them tear apart my family name. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, let's go over Sean Frost. Never mind. They're, they're full power. Okay, never mind. Right. I guess, I guess, I guess it's just kind of move, maneuvering around it is. Um, all right. I'll let Edgar take the ball. Let you take the ball. Let you take the ball. Where, where are the players? We just need to get that um, pristine pass work so that we can get up this advanced gorge. Okay, because uh, obviously we failed this advanced gorge. It's very bad. Ooh, cheeky. Nice! So if we fail the advanced gorge, then we lose a player. We do not want to be losing any players this early into the game. Do you understand my drift here? Nice. Kick it, kick it. Yeah, you waste your keeper commands, mate. You waste your keeper commands. Very nice. Okay, sick. I'm feeling slightly more optimistic about our chances right now. I think now Margin the Great gets activated, if I remember correctly. I think. Oh, no. Technical play X AX3. I wish I... Oh, is this Bermuda Triangulator? Because it would make sense because it's a triangle. That would make sense. All right. We're going to let them go and just do their full power thingamabob. You can do whatever you want. Go for it, mate. Go for it. And then um, I think Mark's going to activate Margin the Great, if I remember correctly. Yes. Shoot Commando 1. You go for that, mate. You absolutely go for that. Have a blast, please. Enjoy yourself. Please enjoy yourself. It's coming. I'll stop this one, too. Yeah, he does it. Disappointing there. There was the sound effect of him going, Hurrah! But he didn't go from, he didn't say Margin the Great, which I find quite disappointing because I would have, I would have liked him to. I would have liked him to go, Margin the Great! But instead he just went, and now Wonderbot's pink. Sure, Wonderbot's pink. Why not? And I, I guess I'm just gonna kind of go, yeah, blue. I, mean, I don't know. Maybe they did have a reaction to the blue bear that I just, I just didn't quite notice. But it, it just feels kind of weird. They're just kind of like, yeah, blue bear. You know, I mean, as you do. Are you kidding me? Don't. No, don't. I'm not letting you. No, shut up. Cool. I was gonna say. I was genuinely gonna say. I would have said something very, very loudly. Nice. Okay. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Not overkill in the slightest. Don't know what you're talking about. Not overkill at all. Okay. Over to Frosty Patissia. Over to you, you. Okay, that's just one of their players. That's not this is at all what we want. Ooh, Edgar. Edgar! Edgar, you mad lad. Okay, Sean, take it. Edgar, where you at, bro? There you are, there you are, there you are. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Let's try and go for a fortissimo. But I just want to see if we can... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Come on, goal. Come on, goal. Maybe, maybe, never mind, just barely, just barely. If we ran a bit forward, we would have gotten it, but that's, that's all right. That's, I guess, I guess, sometimes life just has to hit you with those, those Fs. And this is, this is one of those big Fs or Ls or however you put it. Sean, never mind. Okay, that was offside. I knew that was offside. I was testing them. I was testing them. That's exactly what I was doing. Um, I knew it was offside. I knew, I knew what was coming. I just, you know, really figured they need, they needed a little bit of a, the trick to make sure they were on the ball still. Literally on the ball. Um, okay, wait until... And now go for... Fireball Screw. Kick it to them, Sean Frost. 
Kick it to them. They should absolutely score. Kind of weak power, though. Uh, that's surprising. I would have expected slightly higher. Okay, absolutely annihilated. That doesn't even stand a chance. Nice. But it's like Fortissimo Foot was like 1-3 something. So I'm like 1-3-0 or whatever. So I'm surprised that was only 1-5. I was expecting. I don't know. I don't know. Slightly disappointed in Sean Frost. Maybe it's going to be a continuing theme. That we're just disappointed in Sean Frost generally. Don't entirely know. 64 nil. What? I've not accidentally activated a cheat code now, have I? How about letting me play? No. I, I, excuse me? That's that say 64 nil or am I going insane? Is the world glitched out by Sean Frost using Fireball Screw? Just, just powering through, just powering through, just trying to see whether or not I'm losing my actual mind or, or not. Um, excuse me. Um, this doesn't feel good. <laughs> you gotta love game breaking glitches or you don't preferably don't but basically i figured out that um what was going on wrong was just it seemed like there was an issue with the players that we had in the team the new players in this match in particular um i'm not entirely i'm hoping really really hoping there's an issue going forward but um i basically just started a new save file played up to this point um, and we're going to be using this save file obviously egglock rules still apply in terms of the actual nuzlocke death rules if we can see the goal but we're going to be using this match using the normal Duplies team. And then the next, um, as soon as I possibly can, I'm going to bring everyone back. Um, but that probably will be for episode number three. Just a heads up. Uh, this, the, but we'll be finishing this match this episode. It's essentially the plan. But all right, let's do this. Come on, Vladimir. We now have Vladimir on the team. Um, now, Friedrich Schiller was the replacement for Vladimir. But obviously, we're using Vladimir as of right now because we're kind of forced to by the plot. And also by, I guess at this point, God. Um, who has like his, like, you know, like a gun to held to our, like, our head or whatever. Like, saying that, you know, oh, for, just for this match, use the do, please. Just for this match. I promise I'll, I'll give everything back to you later. He says condescendingly, I'm sure. But all right. I'm going to go for a quick flurry dash there. With, like, ooh, ooh. That thing is, how? How was that a foul? I refuse to believe that was a foul. The cool thing with Vladimir is just kind of, um, well, I guess not necessarily the cool thing. The weird thing with Vladimir is how out of place he looks constantly. Like, because he's so tall. Like, he's obviously, you know, he's, he's not only is he an adult, but he's also built different. Um, but, like, he looks so out of place constantly. Like, he just it just doesn't look right, him being there. Like, in his special moves and that. It was, uh, so, it, it, and... It's a lot of fouls. Oh, my God. Um, and so I just find it quite funny half the time. All right, we're going to go over to Faye. Over to Vladimir. We got a, his special spirit, please. No, we, we can't. Okay, Pendragon. Also, he is by far the coolest fighting spirit in the game. I don't care. I love Pendragon so much. Look at that thing. Look at it. It looks amazing. And we're going to drop a freaky Dark Reaver on him. A freaky Dark Reaver. Yo. 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 This looks so cool. I'm sorry. You cannot tell me that's not the coolest thing ever. You cannot tell me that's not the coolest thing ever. Oh my god, I love it. Oh my god, I love it. That looks amazing. Absolutely looks amazing. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. Amazing. Okay, then this should advance the advanced gorge. Advance the advanced gorge. Finish the advanced gorge. That's what I mean. Okay, come on. Come on. Yeah, cool. Cool. Love that. Love that. Love that. Um, and now I think we armify, right? If I remember correctly. Yo, Vampy is dunking on this man. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Obviously, nice. Ooh, even some sound effects there. Armify! Nice. Touch. Thing even, Bob. Spirit summon. And then Arian can even armify his fighting spirit. What is this world? That everyone can just armify their fighting spirits. Oh my god. Nice, nice. Pew, pew. You gotta love it. You have to love it. I love that. I think that looks amazing. Uh, no, I mean I don't. I generally, I dislike how armor fights look. But I guess, I guess I, I don't know. Art Pegasus did always. It just looks unnatural. I guess it's supposed to look unnatural. I guess that's part of the the joy. But it just kind of looks weird. You know what I mean? 
Also, Armor Flag completely break the game in half, don't they? Like, they completely break the game in half. I mean, I guess that's just one of those. I, I guess they probably wanted them to, to really showcase the sheer power. So I guess it kind of makes sense why they're so insanely powerful, but they really, 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 really are. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about it. I think Galaxy handles them better, in which they can, you know, finding, you know, moves still cost something. Like, here they're just for free. You can just spam them freely. But in Galaxy, obviously, they cost something, which I guess which is much, much better. Which is why I prefer Galaxy overall. Uh, I guess I like Pendragon's armor fire. Yeah, you know what? Why not? I think I think, that, I think it's a better outline color. You know what I mean? It's still too bright of an outline color for my liking. But I think it's a better outline color than bloody the yellow, bloody Arc Pe and Pegasus got. Even though I am Mr. Yellow, I am like SpongeBob himself. I still, you know, have to... I'm not the biggest fan of um, of um, Arc Pegasus's armor fire overall. Maybe that's just me being a bit of a loony, a bit of an idiot. But that's just where my personal take is. All right, come on, Vladimir, mate. Come on, Vladimir. Prove to us why we don't need anyone else. Prove to us why we only ever need to use Vladimir in this game. Please. Please. Vladimir! You, all you need to do is not foul. How hard is that to do? To just not? Is, is it really that hard just to not foul? Oh, I, I should probably be really counting how many special moves we've used, shouldn't we? I think we've almost certainly used over 10. At this point, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to say no more special moves. Because I have no idea how many we've used. Because I, I completely forgot to keep count. So, because obviously with the game-breaking glitch and all that, I just kind of... I mean, I wasn't counting beforehand. But, you know, it's, it, it's definitely complicated matters. So, I'm going to say straight up, no more. Straight up, no more. From now on, from now on, we just go for it. We just, we just try and win without using any special moves. Okay. And obviously, I think we'll win no matter what. It's just a case of not conceding any goals. I think we should be able to do that. No problem. Come on, lads. Come on. Can we even get, can we get a cheeky... Okay, that's irritating. Um, because that would be probably our best way to score. Never mind. There was no one there. I was really hoping Faye would show up, but I, I, I guess not. Okay. It's an opportunity. There is an opportunity here. Hotel. No. Ah, what happened there? What what happened there? No. Ah, what's happening? Why isn't things going our way? Why aren't things go go things? Please, please go our way. Okay, that's fine. Over to Faye. Nice. Put a really cool offside there. A really, really, really cool offside there. Okay. This should be alright. This should be absolutely A-OK. -okay. Yes, correct Amando. Correct Amando, por favor. Nice. Okay. And then Faye, do you would you like to be something that I call fisherman's bait? Never mind. He moves too fast. And Arian is like literally trotting along. Like, genuinely like. Like he, Arian is, is, is a, like had a night out and he's going a bit wild and I, I can't really blame him to be honest. Okay, we're going to now pass here. Just let Vladimir take it. Vladimir, would you like to score? Would you like to score, mate? Never mind. Okay, I really thought you would, you would like to, but I, I guess, I guess, I guess I overestimated you. I guess I overestimated your drive, Vladimir. You just don't quite have it in you, which is fine. It's all right. But we take away the fat dub on Protocol Omega 1.0 with only a 3-0, which, to be fair, is pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm pretty happy about that. Obviously, fortunately, we, we had a bit of, we had an incident throughout. <laughs> we had a bit of an incident, but that's fine. Sometimes life throws you punches and it's just up to you to know how to respond. Um, and I will make sure to add in the Egglock players as soon as I possibly can. But all right. There we go. And look at that. And Argos, Chairman Argos from Asda. He's showing up. He's like, what's up, mate? Why are you doing, Alpha? Why are you let the side down? And Alpha's like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Argos. I'm sorry, I'll first day delivery. <laughs> Such a bad joke. And then uh, Arian's having a great time. Everyone's having a great time. But Vladimir to thank for all of this. Exactly. Ask Vladimir for answers. You know what? Let's do it. Vladimir, you give us some answers, mate. You give us some cheeky answers. Thank you, Vladimir. Arian, please let me join you. I want to help. I think this would have been so cool if we could have just used Vladimir the entire way through. It would have been so sick, but I guess not. Oh, well. You know, we can only use him for a short amount of time. It's irritating, but even though I love him and he's, uh, yeah, uh, uh, I really like, uh, I would have loved to see him do more, but, uh, uh, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's one of those things. It's one of, it's generally one of those things. Uh, but maybe, Arcade Victor's really cute. Baby Victor's really, really cute. Oh, my God.
Oh my god, I love that. I guess that's only two years ago, Victor, so it's not really baby Victor. He looks very, very different. He's done a lot in two years, I'll give him that. But oh, he looks he looks very cute. Oh, I mean, fair enough. Okay, right, let's say you're a funny kid, aren't you? Oh, yes. Thank you, I guess. But all right, um, I guess we're going to go and um, board the Inazuma TM bus. But we shall do that in the next episode. We have another episode off with boarding the Inazuma TM bus. Would you look at that? Anyway, next episode, I will add more Egglock players in. And I'll bring everyone back, essentially. And, and then we will go and do the, the darn thing. See you guys then. But for now, make sure you moist your pants. Not on that way, you disgusting people. Right. Bye. We want to say thank you to Shadow.